And who's this top flight competitor? Dinosaur? Bird? Neither. Meet Patinosaurus. She's a flying reptile. She's got a two foot wingspan, a beak full of sharp teeth, and she's big on eating bugs. These slow moving reptiles look to the ground and pray no one dropped a mirror. Not attractive. They're called Placerias. They may look like dinosaurs, but they're not. They're 12 feet long and they use their sharp tusks to forage and fight. So where are the dinosaurs? Well, here comes one now. Dinosaurs are a type of reptile, but with a big difference. Dinosaurs have a new leg design that evolution is still testing out. Whether it's a winner or a loser is what the Triassic Challenge is all about. This is Coelophysis. He's an early dinosaur who's only 10 feet long. He's on two legs instead of four, and he's built for speed. This animal, a cynodont, isn't a dinosaur either. He's part reptile, part mammal. He's a prehistoric mutt. Cynodont has legs like a reptile, hair like a mammal, and is the best the Triassic can do when it comes to cuddly. And in the Triassic, speed not only kills, it's good for a getaway. Like when a Postasuchus shows up. Postasuchus, she's 20 feet long, weighs 2,000 pounds, and she's the Triassic's top predator. These sauropods are called Diplodocus. Diplodocus average 90 feet long. The females lay about 100 eggs at a time, and they're big salad eaters. But two of the eggs have been dug up by a carnivore who likes his meat on the half shell. Who is this egg-robbing, baby-eating dinosaur? His name is Ornitholestes. He's only the size of a man, but has five-inch fingers with a mean grip and he likes his eggs raw. On the open prairie, Ornitholestes is a lot less threatening because the plant eaters out here are huge, armed, and dangerous. Meet Stegosaurus. He's 30 feet long. That's bigger than a garbage truck. He has a deadly spiked tail, and he knows how to use it. But here comes trouble. Two hungry Allosaurus creeping down the canyon picked up the scent of breakfast. Allosaurus. He's 20 feet long, a killer carnivore, and has expandable jaws for taking megabytes of meat. The terror of Jurassic Beach has just taken his first victim. And it won't be his last. Liopleurodon. Long name, longer body. 80 feet long. Throw in some 10 foot jaws and boy are we happy he's extinct. These sea reptiles have air breathing lungs and powerful flippers that used to be legs. Then evolution pushed them into the Jurassic pool. Why couldn't they evolve an easier name? Meet Cryptoclitus. 26 feet long with a snake-like neck, also known as the speed demons of the deep. Well, 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 what have we here? A pod of Jurassic dolphins? Nope, just Ophthalmosaurus. 15 feet long, eyes as big as softballs, and obviously capable of doing one mean dolphin impression. But the list of Jurassic beachgoers doesn't stop there. Over on the rocks, that's no pelican. It's Ramphorhynchus, a flying reptile. 
He's got a six foot wingspan and he loves to fish. But another predator has picked up the scent of her blood. A killer you could still run into today. But I sincerely hope you don't. Prehistoric sharks, survivors extraordinaire. Flashing their killer jaws over 200 million years before the dinosaurs. Some grow as big as 40 feet. And of course, they've always had a taste for blood. Up on the Jurassic Beach, the situation is critical. Food and water are in short supply for the island dinosaurs. That's why they're so much smaller than their cousins on the continents. Meet Eustreptospondylus. He's 15 feet long, about the same length as a giraffe. This 500 pound beachcomber is not a picky eater. He's a scavenger. But he's a runt compared to the king of the skies. Meet Ornithochirus, the most terrifying pterosaur in the air. At 10 feet tall with a 40 foot wingspan, he's wider than a small airplane. Ornithochirus rules the skies, no argument there. But down on the beaches of prehistoric Florida are the lords of the land, the dinosaurs. A herd of iguanodon, to be exact. They're on the move for the same reason as Ornithochirus. Their breeding grounds are up north, and mating season starts soon. Iguanodon is a plant eater that can grow to about 30 feet. Unlike most dinosaurs, he's got five fingered hands. One of those fingers is a deadly thumb spike. But this guy won't bother them. Those spikes make him look tough, but he's actually just a sweet, plant-eating dinosaur called Polacanthus. He's 14 feet long, which is as big as an SUV. He's got a thick coat of bony armor with sharp spikes, and it all adds up to bite at your own risk. Scientists think Iguanodon and Polacanthus used to hang out and graze together. Safer for both species that way. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. A good system when you've got a creepy Cretaceous carnivore checking you out. That peeping dinosaur is called Utah Raptor. 20 feet long and bad to the bone. His 15 inch claws make him the captain hook of the Cretaceous. So what kind of dinosaur would be crazy enough to live here? The Elenosaura, for one. This is her forest. And this little plant eater knows what it takes to survive. The Elenosaura can grow up to six feet long, but only weigh 22 pounds. That's only about the same weight as a turkey. And thanks to a huge pair of eyes, they've got super night vision for the long, dark, polar winter. As the creature from the Green Lagoon begins his, uh, his charge? Okay, I'd say the Lielinosaurus clan's got nothing to worry about. It's Kulasuchus. At 16 feet long and around a thousand pounds, this mutant tadpole is no threat to the land speed record. But in the water, he's got a lethal lunge and a mouth that can finish the job. And they'd better be on their game, because things are about to get hideous. Meet the Polar Allosaurus. At 20 feet, this Cretaceous predator is a third smaller than his old Jurassic cousins. But don't underestimate him. He's a vicious migratory predator, and he comes down from the north every spring for some of that famous southern stick to your ribs home cooking. And an entire continent of vegetarians couldn't agree more. Like this herd of dinosaurs. They've come down from the north for the summer to take in the scenery and then gorge themselves on it. Ah, 
the mighty Mudaburosaurus. 30 feet long, weighing in at four tons, and sporting jaws and teeth that rip through shrubbery like a walking wood chipper. All this furry little mammal wants is to get that custom-made snout into some eggs and commence to sucking. Meet Kawatamundi. He's from the raccoon family and he's been sucking eggs for millions of years. Go see for yourself. South America's still crawling with Kawatamundis today. The dinosaur's days are numbered. While they're still here though, this is their ruler. You know him, you love him, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Also known as the Tyrant Lizard King. The biggest name in dinosaurs is also the biggest carnivore to ever walk the earth. 17 feet tall and 45 feet long. That's half the length of a basketball court. And those monster jaws can bite off 150 pounds of meat in one bloodthirsty bite. But guess what? There are plenty of fresh new mammals too. And until pandas come along, this is one of the cuddliest. Meet Didelphodon one of the largest mammals of the dinosaur age, over three feet long. As an early marsupial, the female sports a pouch, just like a possum or kangaroo. Food-wise, they eat plants, animals, you name it. They're omnivorous, so they eat it all. How many kinds of dinosaurs does it take to keep a giant carnivore well-fed? Just about all of them. Taurosaurus meat is one of T-Rex's personal favorites. Taurosaurus is 25 feet from tip to tail. That's even longer than a stretch limo. With those three nasty horns sticking out from its face, it looks kind of like a triceratops with a nine-foot head. There's never been a land animal with a bigger skull. If they're not careful, they could get jumped by a couple of killer dromaeosaurs. Meet Dromaeosaur. He's six feet of pure speed. He grabs his victims with his front claws, then guts them with a three-inch foot claw. He's the ninja warrior of the dinosaur age. Say hello and goodbye to the Anatotitans. 40 foot leaf eaters, they've got nearly a thousand back teeth for chewing. Their flat snouts make them part of the family of hadrosaurs, or duck-billed dinosaurs. In fact, Anatotitan means giant duck. Good thing with bruisers like this stomping all over the place. Meet Ankylosaurus. He's a 30-foot dinosaur with so much body armor, even his eyelids are bony plates. His tail's a deadly weapon that he swings like a 10-foot club. 